I love ads. Well, I love making them. Some of you guys might not know this, but I'm actually a former growth marketing consultant, and I like to challenge myself to make ads that are fun and engaging and hopefully enjoyable for you guys to watch. Think like Super Bowl ads. I've actually had quite a few of my ads go viral organically, so that is pretty cool. <laughs> I recently did this collab with Open Farm, and it was a dog obstacle course. So Oatmeal had to jump into his oat boat, leap out of it into the water, dive for a ring, swim underneath a pool noodle, and then get the bowl of open farm food that was in this like inner tube. This one was a fun one to make, so I wanted to take you guys behind the scenes on how we made it. So we booked a pool rental in North Hollywood and we had two hours to set up, train oatmeal and get the shot. We got there and immediately we went to go set up. My dad had the idea to secure the oatmeal. Can you not? He's chewing on a Kong right now, literally right in front of me. Hey, oatmeal, can you go on your bed? There you go, that's, that's a good boy. <laughs> he just groaned. Anyways, <laughs> my dad was visiting, so he had the idea to take a pool noodle and tie rope on either ends of it and then anchor it to the bottom with a hammer so that it wouldn't move. Except when we weren't looking, Oatmeal stole the hammer. I think he thought it was a toy, and so he picked it up and carried it over on the grass, laid down, and started chewing on it. I had to take it away from him. <laughs> He was just in a feisty mood that day. He kept trying to sneakily steal the bowl of food and he actually did clear it once. So I'm glad that I brought extra. Once we got the obstacle course all set up, it was time to train oatmeal. I started by breaking down the sequence into different sections and trained him how to do each one independently. We started with swimming underneath the pool noodle because that was the newest skill. He knows how to dive, but at first he did not want to go under it. He rested his arms on it, he went around it, but he would not go under it. I then realized it's probably because it was too low to the water, so then my dad had the idea of tying one end of the rope to a tree and then holding the other end so it was lifted, and that did the trick. We then moved on to the ring dive. He's more familiar with this trick, but he's a little rusty because he's had an ear infection, so I haven't been letting him go underwater recently. I started by lowering the ring into the water a little bit and then dropping it onto the surface where he could grab it. Then I let it sink a little bit more so that he could practice diving and he nailed it. Then we moved on to the oat boat jump. He kept wanting to run straight for the food. He was like, why would I go to the trouble of jumping into the pool when I can just go around? And I had to keep reminding him that efficiency wasn't the goal here. So then finally he jumps into the oat boat and he lays down, great. After a few more tries, he finally gets it. And then he jumps into the water and stands up like a T-Rex. That wasn't on the menu for today, but props to him for improvising, I guess. At this point, we're running out of time. So I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping that he'll figure it out. <laughs> Next, we did a test run starting from the oat boat and he remembered how to go under the pool noodle. That was huge. Then we tried it from the top. He jumped into the oat boat, leaped into the water, but he missed the ring. So close. Third time's the charm. He jumps into his oat boat and then falls into the water. Rocky start, but not a deal breaker. Then he dives for the ring and he gets it. Then he immediately goes underneath the pool noodle. And just like that, the hard part's over. Well, now he just has to get over his fear of inner tubes, which took a little bit of encouraging, but he got it. And just like that, we got the shot with half an hour of our pool rental to spare. So that's the behind the scenes of our open farm ad. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please subscribe.